Hello, I'm Nitin Dahad with EE Times, and I'm at Intel IFS Direct Connect 20, 2024, uh, speaking to Mark Gardner, who's uh, VP for Advanced Packaging and Test at uh, Intel. Hello, Mark. Hello, thanks for having me. So there's various things going on at Intel in terms of packaging. Uh, just give us a little bit of an overview. Sure. I think, um, as you heard today, one of the one of the exciting things about advanced packaging is that, really, the whole theme today was this this AI system foundry concept, and really, the advanced packaging works right into that because it allows you. I think you heard Pat say, advanced packaging used to allow me to disaggregate X Y. Now I can disaggregate in Z, X, Y, and Z. Yeah. So it's giving really ultimate flexibility. And really, when you think about the AI you know, um, packages today, they want to just pack more and more chiplets, more and more GPU, more and more HBM memory. And advanced packaging allows them to do that in a cost-effective and performance-enhancing way. And, and for Intel, advanced packaging defi is defined by uh, what, what? I mean, you've got various, various sort of um, technologies. Correct. We, we define advanced packaging as anything 2.5D or 3D and beyond, which means that in, instead of just using organic substrates to do routing between dye, we're actually using like high density silicon bridges in a substrate or high density interconnects in an interposer or 3D stacking where we have very advanced, you know, less than 10 micron copper to copper pitches. So it's this concept of just high density and the market typically defines it as two and a half and 3D plus. And, and uh, now you talk about ASATs, what's, what's ASATs? Yeah, ASAT um, stands for Advanced System Assembly and Test. And really what that means is <clears throat> while we do have traditional OSAT services, um, the reason we went with ASAT is because it's much more than just putting chips on a substrate or on an interposer. Really what you heard today is this concept of a system, right? And Intel is an Intel Foundry is in a unique position that we have design capability. We've got, you know, modeling capability with thermals and warpage management and mechanical. We we have all these things that we can bring to bear. So when a customer has a really complicated problem, we've got all these assets versus just assembling things and testing them. So that's kind of the advanced system aspect of the acronym. And, and what we heard a lot from yeah, various customers today and also you know, partners in the ecosystem. Uh, where are you in, in this process of delivering on this advanced packaging for customers? Give us some examples, and there were some examples today. Yeah, very good question. Um, I'm proud to say that uh, we haven't been at this very long. I mean, today was kind of our first big marketing event, and we already actually have Foundry customers on every one of our packaging technologies, whether it's FCBGA 2D and 2D+, plus, whether it's EMIP 2.5D, EMIP 3.5D, Foveros, Foveros, Trek. So it's exciting to say, to me, the ultimate way to say what our customers thinking are, are they designing with you? And the answer is yes. Um, and we're excited. It's great to work with customers. And to me, it's not just about the technology we bring, but it's the partnership in working with them that we come to solutions better together as we work together. Now, so, some of the, uh, the, there are going to be lots of challenges um, uh, in, you know, there's things like standardization, there's um, UCIE, but then all, all, the, all the technologies you mentioned. Where, where is this going to get to the level where we need to deliver, uh, I don't know, you know the, the level of compute that you know, uh, we really need? Yeah, I think you brought up a good point. To me, when I talk to customers, what they want and what I would want if I was in their shoes is I want flexibility. I want flexibility in foundry, which, which where my silicon is made. I want flexibility in where the packaging is done. And so one of our big mantras has been that we want to be compatible. Um, you know, we, we push standards like you've obviously heard with UCIE. But even beyond that, there's some nuances of existing advanced packaging technologies from other foundries and OSETs that we're striving to make our EMIB and Foveros technologies basically compatible so that a customer could literally take the same silicon design and use our packaging technology, advanced packaging technology, or someone else's, and they're able to kind of work with both. And again, that's, that's the holy grail because what no one wants is 
one supplier for silicon, one supplier for packaging. Um, so to me, that's our mission, is to make that a reality for our customers. And it's a lot of work. It's more than just, we talk a lot about UCIE. I could go on about all that it's going to take, yeah. but it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Um, talking about uh, wh where this will go, I think people touched on glass mm -hmm. uh, as a substrate to sort of enable you know, uh, more, more effective, more efficient ways yep. of packaging together. Can you touch on, on a little bit about you know, that concept and, and where, where, uh, what you can say about what Intel uh, Foundry is doing? Yeah, so I think, so you heard today um, where we see glass, obviously glass is rigid, right? And so when you think about substrates and our EMIP technology, as you go to really, really large form factors, things warp, right? They become really difficult to assemble to a motherboard. So what glass is allowing us to do is, especially if you think about AI, it allows you to put so much more compute in one package and do it in a very large form factor where it still has good assembly yield, good reliability, and fit into an existing kind of typical motherboard application. So to me, that's what versus having to do two, three, four multiple socketings of a separate package, I can do it all in one, and that always is going to give me better power, you know, lower latency, all the benefits that people want. What are we going to see from Intel Foundry over the next 12 months in this area? Yeah, I th well, in, in specific to glass or just in general? In general, yeah. Yeah, I think you'll see the big thing is what I mentioned before. Our goal is we have what I believe to be differentiated technology, and hopefully um, folks gathered that today. And we want to make it easy for our customers to work with us and other suppliers so that they have choice. At the end of the day, we want to enable our customers to have choice. And what I said before about standards and making our advanced packaging technologies compatible with others is key. And that is what we will do over the next 12 months. Now, this is not an issue, but um, I think it was raised because of obviously uh, that resilient supply chain. Um, now, a lot of what you do is across different fabs around the world, mm -hmm. and this advanced packaging, is that sort of uh, is specific to any specific fabs, or, or is it sort of being deployed in various places depending on their expertise? Yeah, great question. Um, that's another thing you heard a lot from today, right? And it's not just a silicon story, it's a packaging story. So when you look at advanced packaging, we actually, same thing, right? We have the United States, we have North America, Costa Rica, Asia, Europe. So, I mean, it is a very diverse supply chain for packaging, whether that's where we get the substrates from, where we get the silicon bridges from, where we actually make the interposers, all of it, very diverse. And, it, and some customers, if they want to be all in North America, we're the only company in the world that can do that. If they're open to having some in Europe, some in Asia, obviously we have a good, good mix of where things can come from. Do customers actually specify like the, that we want, or is it usually military or, or sort of defense type electronics where they say it has to be US or, or, or is it a, a larger so, sort of uh, cross-section of customers? Yeah, that's a great question. And I think you hit the ones that are kind of more required. But actually I have been, um, I shouldn't say surprised, but yes, there are preferences. Um, and sometimes the preference is, um, hey, we'd like to be in this geography. And sometimes the preference is we would like to not be in this geography. And again, as a, as a partner, as a supplier, we want to offer them that choice and we take that feedback, right? If they have a strong desire and we can make that work, then we do. Now, one of the things I think coming from today was around um, Intel Foundry being a system foundry uh, yeah, for, for everybody, including competitors. Mm -hmm. And for packaging, then, you know, that also yeah, is key part of that. Mm -hmm. This is totally new in terms of an operational business model for you. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, um, we've, and I won't name the names of the customers, but sometimes you'll go to a customer and you'll look across the table and you're like, I cannot believe we're talking. <laughs> yeah. When you think of our history. And it's exciting. I mean, I think um, for me, it actually is really exciting because we, we go to them and say, we may have competed in the past in our old model, but we're here to work with you. We want to be your supplier. And to what Stu said is we want to earn your trust and earn the right to be your supplier, in this case, with advanced packaging. And it's been very well received. Um, so I think it's funny, like, you break that ice pretty quickly and you're like, okay, we're here. Let's talk. Let's be transparent. And I think the other thing that's been new is I think historically people looked at Intel's very closed off, walled, 
and I'm hearing from them, this is a new Intel. Like this is a new Intel foundry. You guys are very open, you're sharing things and that's what it takes to be successful. Well, that's what I've been hearing a lot today. So Mark, thank yeah. you very much. Thank you for having me. I appreciate the time. Thank you.